Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about heterosporous pteridophytes and how they are precursor of seed habit. Most of the pteridophytes are homosporous which means they produce spores which are of similar type. But during the course of evolution, there were about 8 genus of pteridophytes which separated themselves from homosporous nature. They became heterosporous species. One such species of pteridophyte which is heterosporous is Salaginella. This is the sporophyte of Salaginella. Pteridophytes have a sporophyte as their adult body which is a spore producing structure. So, you can look at here Salaginella is having microphyll and it, it has a special leaf called sporophyll. Aggregation of sporophyll is found in Salaginella which will lead to formation of a cone. Hence, Salaginella produces a cone. Let us analyze how the cone is. Cone is having a central axis on which special leaves are arranged which are bigger leaves are found at the lower end which are known as megasporophyll and the smaller special leaves are called microsporophyll. Megasporophyll produces megasporangium whereas microsporophyll produces microsporangium. Through meiosis, here there is meiosis reductional division, microsporangia pro produces microspores. Microspores will germinate little bit inside the microsporangia, then it is released out. Once it is released out, microspores will develop into male gametophyte. Male gametophyte now forms its sex organ. Gametophyte means it should form a sex organ called antheridia. Antheridia through, mit through mitosis produces anthrozooids which is biflagellated. What will happen in the megasporangia? Megasporangia produces one functional megaspore that is also a resultant of meiosis. Hence it is megaspore is N. So megaspore now it is not at all released. In instead megaspore will germinate into female gametophyte inside the megasporangium only. So this is one of the important character. Uh, now female gametophyte where is it present? It is in the sporophyte. Female gametophyte is retained in the sporophyte for variable period. So that is a pre later on that is a precursor feature of seed habit. How it is a precursor? Same feature where this bigger megasporangium which we call it as ovule in angiosperms or gymnosperms will be retaining the female gametophyte and on that female gametophyte fertilization occurs then the seed is formed. So that is one of the uh, important feature why it is precursor of seed habit. Second thing is, uh, next thing is what will happen to female gametophyte? Female gametophyte develops archegonia containing an haploid egg through mitosis. Now this archegonia containing egg is fertilized by anthrozooids. Once fertilization occurs in the archegonia there is zygote formation which is deployed. Zygote now develops into young embryo. All these events are occurring inside megasporangium only till now if you consider other groups of plant algae, bryophytes there was no such feature or in homosporous spe species if you observe uh, spores are released outside then they will develop into respective gametophyte but in this case in heterosporous species gametophyte will be developing into uh, the uh, zygote will be developing into a young embryo within the megasporangium in seed formation also later on this feature only where zygote is formed inside the female gametophyte and that female gametophyte uh, the zygote will be developing into a young embryo inside the megasporangium or ovule only. So that is a second feature which is a uh, which is a connection to seed. Here from this point seed formation got started hence it is a precursor uh, for seed habit. So two features we have listed. Now what will happen to young embryo? Young embryo will germinate into young sporophyte within the cone only because all these are the part of cone. It will develop a primary root then young sporophyte gets now it is released until now all the events were taking place within the megasporangium only sporophyte is released sporophyte will develop into 
adult uh, sporophyte. So this is how the heterosporous pteridophyte life cycle is. Now why it is important in the course of evolution is seed habit started to began from these heterosporous species. Later on gymnosperms form seed and the angiosperms form seed. What are the important points which form which important things to notice which later on form seed is two types of spore production smaller spore called microspore larger spores called megaspore megaspores are retained within the female gametophyte within the megasporangium and female gametophyte is retained on the sporophyte for variable period development of young embryo within the um, within the megasporangium occurs so these are the precursor character other character why it did not form seed is to form seed around the megasporangium there should be presence of integument that is lacking and the young embryo should take rest within the seed so that only when it gets appropriate condition it should germinate that character is also not seen hence it has not formed any seed but it is the point where seed formation began so this is about heterosporous pteridophytes i hope you have liked it if you have liked it please click the like button please share my video thank you